In the vast and intricate tapestry of marine and freshwater ecosystems, two strikingly similar yet fundamentally different creatures draw the lines of curiosity deeper into the waters, lobsters and crayfish. Picture this, a lobster, with its imposing claws and armored body, traverses the shadowy depths of the ocean. Meanwhile, its freshwater cousin, the crayfish, scuttles energetically through streams and under rocks in a more modest but equally fascinating display of adaptation and survival. This dynamic duo, though often mistaken for one another in casual observation, presents a rich field of study that delves into the marvels of evolutionary paths and ecological niches. Lobsters and crayfish, though similar in their crustacean heritage, thrive in starkly different worlds. The typical marine lobster prefers the structured confines of rocky crevices along coastal shelves and deep ocean beds where the play of light from above dwindles to obscurity. These are zones where the dance of predator and prey unfolds in a silent, pressurized vastness. On the flip side, crayfish do not venture into the saline waters of the oceans. Their realm is the fresh waters of rivers, lakes, and streams. Here, amid the tangled roots and mud-banked shelters, crayfish maneuver through clearer, more temperate waters. Often termed as freshwater lobsters, they showcase a remarkable adaptability to a variety of ecological and climatic conditions, surviving even in streams that ice over or dry up seasonally. Continuing with their fascinating dynamics. The distinction in habitat is not merely a matter of saline preference. It dictates their respective roles in the ecological systems they inhabit. As we navigate through these underwater mazes, it becomes clear that every choice of habitat has profound implications on their physical form, lifestyle, and survival strategies. Lobsters are renowned for their impressive, muscular claws and a hard exoskeleton that reads like a knight's armor. These physical traits are not just for defense. The larger of the two claws, the crusher claw, is a powerful tool used to break open clams, crabs, and other armored sea creatures. In contrast, the finer, narrower cutter claw serves as a precise instrument for slicing softer prey. Crayfish, while also equipped with claws, are generally smaller and less formidable than those of their saltwater cousins. What they lack in size, they make up with agility and a defensive behavior known as the crayfish flop, a sudden backward dart intended to confuse predators and clear a quick escape route. This behavior highlights a lifestyle more reliant on stealth and speed rather than brute force a necessity in the often transparent and predator-rich waters of freshwater environments. The behavioral repertoire of these crustaceans is a testament to their evolutionary success. Lobsters communicate via a complex system of scents released into the water, while crayfish engage in a series of tactile signals with their antennae and pincers during social interactions. These nuances not only reflect their adaptation, but also underscore the diverse evolutionary paths undertaken by each species within the crustacean lineage. From the standpoint of ecosystem dynamics, both lobsters and crayfish serve critical roles. Lobsters help maintain healthy populations of certain species by preying on weaker individuals, thus balancing the marine ecosystem. Their presence or absence can significantly affect the population dynamics of species they prey on as well as those that prey on them. In freshwater systems, crayfish are pivotal. They act as both predator and prey, contributing to the nutrient cycling necessary for the ecological health of these waters. However, they are also susceptible to environmental disruptions. Factors such as water pollution, habitat destruction, and especially the introduction of non-native species can threaten crayfish populations, which in turn destabilizes the ecosystems they support. Conservation efforts for both these creatures are becoming increasingly important. For instance, the North American lobster industry is frequently under scrutiny for practices that might harm lobster populations and their habitats. 
sustainable fishing practices and regulations are in constant evolution, striving to balance economic benefits with ecological sustainability. Similar conservation measures are also crucial for protecting crayfish species, many of which are endangered due to human activity. Beyond their ecological roles, lobsters and crayfish share a remarkable connection with human culture, predominantly through cuisine. Lobster is considered a gourmet delicacy, adored for its rich, succulent meat. This culinary status has not only carved a niche for lobster in the luxurious dining scenes worldwide, but has also propelled the methodologies and ethics surrounding its harvest. Crayfish parties, especially in regions like Scandinavia, spotlight these creatures in a more communal culinary tradition, linking them directly with cultural identity and celebration. These culinary practices not only influence local and global seafood markets, but also engage communities in the stewardship of these species and their environments. This deep dive into the lives of lobsters and crayfish reveals a complex intertwining of nature's narratives with our own. As we explore these pathways of existence, it becomes increasingly clear that our understanding and actions can contribute to the unfolding story of these fascinating creatures. Weaving the threads of biodiversity, conservation, and cultural heritage into the fabric of our global ecosystem.